Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading and today we have another awesome reading. I feel like we do. I hope you guys are all well and uh, these are general readings and therefore they can resonate for anybody. Yeah, you don't have to be a Sagittarian sun sign. No, you do not. So let's get into it here and uh, no, you don't have to. So let's get into this right now and before we begin Sagittarius, if you would like your own psychic reading your own tarot reading those are available to you they are accurate i am a silva grad also i always recommend the combination uh, those are the most fun and they both offer additional or unique insight the tarot and the uh the psychic reading right yeah also um if you want a free five minute psychic reading with mystic sense you can click on that link below and, uh, yeah, if you get a psychic reading with me, those are, you know, those are close to an hour. They are. And also I'm doing destiny readings and those are based on your particular birthday. So they're spot on. So these are yearly forecasts and, uh, these are what the stars are using. Yeah. Not the stars in the sky. Well, that's true too, but they are done with the stars in the sky. They are, but, uh, the movie stars and things like that. And, uh, just send me an email if you would like one of those. Okay. Uh, because my website is still being built. Yeah. So let's start here. We have green Tara. Here she is. Uh, maybe she is, uh, an earth sign. Not really sure, but ask others, including me to help you. <laughs> so, uh, which is interesting. Ask her, right. But instead of trying to do everything yourself, so this could be, you know, setting an intention and asking for help from the divine. It could be, uh, maybe you are, this could also uh, imply that there's a team, there's teamwork coming. You could start delegating, but this could be about your business. I know that I'm delegating. Uh, yeah, I am. And, um, mm -hmm. it definitely does help. It does. And we have expect a miracle and here's mother Mary with baby Jesus. Yeah. And, uh, mm hmm. And so this is have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. Somebody here has prayed for this. Yeah, they have. And, uh, mm -hmm. maybe they're going to ask you to help them. Right. And, uh, honestly live a happy life. It looks like that here. We have grace and this is Dante and Beatrice. So, and that the name of that card is grace, but this is the star. And let's have a look at their version of the star with the lover's deck. And, uh, yeah, let's see what it has to say here. Mm -hmm. In inspiration, hope, and dreams. Okay, so we know the star is inspiration, hope, and faith. Over here, you're supposed to have faith. You are uh, basically, right? Beatrice's presence made an, such an impression on Dante that he felt as though his spirit had been infused with light. He was convinced that she was truly an angel and was unable to speak to her when they met. Since he had nothing, Beatrice did not suspect Dante's love. So since he said nothing, I beg your pardon. Soon after the wet, she wedded another, the anguished Dante had an inspiring dream of Beatrice with the god Amor. Okay. Didn't know uh, there was a, name, a god named Amor, which is love, right? He awoke resolved that his love for Beatrice would be no earthly passion to expire when they died. In other words, they're going to be together in the afterlife. Instead, he would immortalize Beatrice with poems that would last forever. This is love that inspires us and inspires other others, turning dreams into reality, awareness of goals, the belief and self-esteem to meet them. Yeah. And so we see, you know, all this inspiration here and expect a miracle and, uh, mm -hmm, ask the divine to help you here. And we have the Jack of hearts as well. And, uh, there she is. And this is the Knight of cups in this particular reading. And we're going to have a, it's called charm. Yeah. That's what this is about. Somebody here feels like you have a lot of charm, uh, and they are swayed by that. Yeah. Mm hmm. You guys know that song sway the pussycat dolls sang it. And, uh, yeah, we did. I, I do that when I perform it's, it's a cool song, right? It's how she is under his spell when they are dancing. Yeah. And, uh, I heard the pussycats doll, the pussycat dolls talk about 
how they were mistreated. Yeah, of course, right? Yeah. And we have the Knight of the Soul, you guys. Yeah, and here he is pushing him into the water. And this talks about somebody who has awakened, uh, awakened to their true self and awakened to, and what I see here is that they're really in love with you. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that they are very inspired here. So they could have got their butt kicked when they woke up, though, because he's trying to drown him, right? Yeah, there he is. And uh, when the guy gets up and he kind of gets it, right? So he goes to him and he says, why am I so unhappy when you are so happy, right? To the Sufi or the ascended master, basically. And he says, uh, well, I think he just said it's the way you think. I forgot exactly what he said, but it doesn't really matter because he goes, let's go in the water together. And he guys like, well, what's that going to do for us? So he takes him in the water and he starts to drown him. And when he comes up, he goes, yeah, I knew all along basically, uh, how to make myself happy and how to feel happy like you, but I was denying it. Yeah. We have the myth and the surgeon here. And, uh, yeah, there could be a fake surgeon here. Be careful. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> what this really means here is that somebody was living a lie, especially lying to themselves about their own intuition about what they knew was good for their life. Like I was saying, and here's the surgeon. So something's being cut out that is no longer true, right? Or that somebody found out here, the night of the souls, when you find out. Yeah, it's a pretty shitty night. It could last for a while. It could. Yeah, definitely. You're not getting a good night's sleep with the night of the soul. But the night of the soul can be a period in your time, uh, a period in your life where change is, you're being forced to change. You are, really. Yeah. So let's see what we have, Sagittarius, in this reading. And uh, yeah, right now uh, there could be a lot of uh, decisions. There could be decisions made around October 14th, right? Because, uh, uh, the Libra, I think, I feel like it is the new moon, but when the new moon comes, this is change and Libra is, you know, about harmony. So whatever this decision is, that is going to be made here, there will be a sacrifice for some people because it is to bring harmony to your own life. So yeah. And that's what Libra is about. We're also right now we are dealing with, uh, the, south node which is in libra and the north node which is in aries but the south node is what you are moving away from so there is some for some there are, and libra is the house of partnerships so for some they're going to be moving away from partnerships to have harmony to have their own happiness like the relationships that really don't work and any sacrifice that will be made during that time uh will be 99 percent of the time will be a good a decision for you because the north note which is fate is in aries and that is all for you yeah so let's get into it here maybe that's what's going on here right let's see what we have and uh the queen of wands sagittarius the world card we have to cover her because she you know she was uh she was in venezuela and she's hot so she took her clothes off let's see what we got here we have the Ace of Wands. She could have been. This can be about travel, right? The Ace of Wands is in the root here. So you have a brand new beginning here, a passionate and inspiring new beginning. Somebody could, or you, Sagittarius, could have, like, went through the night of the soul and said, you know, why am I sitting here? I want to go be with Sagittarius. Or maybe you said that. Because there is, like, a latent understanding about somebody's own inspiration, and what drives or what makes them happy, what inspires them, uh, what is passionate in their life, right? Let's see what else we have here. And the devil. And maybe this is a past life love with Dante and Beatrice because that's what it was. Yeah. And let's see what else we have. We have the Knight of Cups. Let's move this back here. And we have it up here, which talks about charm. I feel like somebody's going to try to charm you, though, in a beautiful way. Or you are seen as very charming to them. And that could be the case here. Because uh, what drives passion is charm. Right? It's like charisma. It's like, you know, magnetic. Right? It is. And let's see what else we have, Sagittarius. The death card. So we have four majors here. Uh, 
three majors and we have an ace yeah we do we have two aces here and they are uh, tandem vertically and we have the six of pentacles seven of pentacles reversed so in the outcome here we're going to talk about that in a minute because that's a big card here that is a big deal right like when you say to somebody when they're overreacting uh what's the big deal right yeah and then they start to put their ridiculosity on you and you're like whoa you're that petty <laughs> right let's see what we have so here's the queen of wands this is you and uh this is either you in your power here uh, or you know as your overall energy or this is about you right from this person and there you are sagittarius okay now we know uh the queen of wands uh this could be somebody's energy towards you the queen of wands talks about living an inspiring life yeah she said i'm not going to stay here with that boring person I'm not going to work at this boring job. No, uh, she might say, and maybe in the beginning she might do it, but after a while she's like, oh, good God, no, I need to be true to myself. So here's the world card crossing. There's a major cycle ending here because the world sits over the death card. So we have death and rebirth here. We have a transformation. Uh, that's what the night of the soul. It's a painful transformation. Yeah definitely <laughs> and uh yeah and the guy was even embarrassed he goes oh, i kind of knew that but uh i just wanted to walk around in denial yeah mm -hmm. i was afraid to kind of admit what a big dummy i was it's kind of like that i'm not calling you a dummy sagittarius no i'm not but you know maybe that's your person's kind of energy a little bit right it could be maybe and so uh here we have the ten of pentacles with the death card look at that so the 10 is also a completion right here, an ending. Uh, all 10s are also new beginnings. So this is kind of how the moon works, right? Yeah, the new moon comes, we have a new beginning. So we can have a new beginning with the full moon. But the moon cycles are about change. They definitely are. Mm -hmm. At least one of them has a new beginning, the new moon or the full moon, right? It's depending on your chart and things like that. Okay, so here we have the death card with the decision your concern. You want something to end here so you can have a new beginning or a transformation. That's what you want here. This is what you're concerned about. So crossing you is the world card. It's possible you had to end a cycle here. There's major endings here and major new beginnings. But the beginning, of course, is the... That's the focus here, right? We're not focused on the past. No, we're not, right? Uh, this is how you move into your future as well. Just let the past go, learn from it and move on. Let's see what else we have. We have the star now. So here's the star showing up twice in the reading. Uh, mm -hmm. it's right here, grace. And here it is here. And it's showing up with the world card. Look at that. So this is an inspiring new cycle for you. And maybe it's going to happen October 14th, but you know, Libra season is about partnerships yeah mm -hmm. whatever happens in libra season for couples will either be a new beginning because somebody sees harmony with that person or an ending because of the aries north node which is about your own power your independence basically so if there is no harmony relationships will end it's possible that Somebody here didn't have harmony in their own relationship or inspiration or balance. You really can't be balanced if there's no inspiration, right? Yeah, it's like, you know, you, it's really hard that way. Okay, here's the Ace of Wands. Why it's all happening is your new beginning. In the past, the Nine of Cups was reversed. This means you couldn't get your wish in the past with this person. Let's see what else we have. And we have here... The queen of pentacles and i think i flipped the cards yeah i did i'm not sure what that have why that happens all the time but hey uh maybe that was a sign here maybe this person is in the reverse it could be an earth sign this could be saying you couldn't get your wish because this person didn't want to nurture this it's a nurturing energy the queen of pentacles and you know here this could clearly say that this person was in some type of a cycle that 
they no longer want right if this is yeah so now we have the devil sagittarius right mm -hmm. and uh, who sings about the devil the dramatics sing about the devil i mean a lot of people probably do a lot of musicians right bands but i know that they do they do mm -hmm. yeah let's get a card on the devil see what it says here and we have the three of cups so this is uh, so you've either felt stuck or there was a restriction here blocking this either reconciliation or a joyful union with somebody right there could have been a third party here there could have been and i don't always like to throw that in because not everybody's in one but Mm -hmm. the third party in this reading could have you know it could have been a person possibly but another person but it could simply be that somebody's way of belief their belief system the night of the soul wakes you up and says stop thinking that way stop it's a the night of the soul says uh we're gonna make you suffer so you realize basically so you realize that you've been negative and in a lower vibration that's all it really means because remember he went to the he went to the master and said, why are you so happy when I'm miserable? That's what he said. So uh, the Knight of Cups sits in the near future. This is a beautiful card alone in the near future. And, you know, this could be with this. Like I said, this could be in Libra. The, uh, we are in Libra season, but this could be October 14th. It could be. Yeah. And we have the Ace of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups with it. So in this uh cards with not that in this reading was not so many we have three wands i mean three wands sorry three aces here and they are tandem so this is clear when this shows up like this as well it, it is so here's the root here and uh a passionate new beginning why it's all happening here in your environment is the ace of swords and the ace of cups and when we see the myth over here right with these cool uh kabbalah cards uh, not the cabal, you guys, if you guys know who the cabal is, right? But no, Kabbalah. And so here we have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups. And so this can clearly mean here with the myth over here that you have a new beginning. Uh, I feel like the Ace of Cups was first. And it's because of a truth, the Ace of Swords. Because this is the highest form of communication, the sword, the Ace of Swords. So this can be a truth, especially when we see the myth. Yeah. So somebody was living a lie. This, that's really what this is about, right? Lots of people do about, you know, yeah, this is um, mm -hmm. six of pentacles. You guys showing up in your hopes and your desires with the two of wands. So you want this give and take relationship with them. Yeah, you do, whoever they are. And this could be you taking this on. It could be, right? Seven of pentacles shows up in your outcome. And this is reversed. This can be, I mean, a few things. The sevens are all analyzing, right? The seven of cups can be analyzing your feelings, right? Because you're trying to make a choice where, you know, it's really important because of your feelings. This seven of pentacles reversed, I believe in this reading, that somebody already stopped thinking about their choice to invest here. Somebody's already figured this out, right? They're coming. Let's look at your person's card, Sagittarius. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. we start with the tribal spirit dancer. This is about somebody who's celebrating a brand new beginning. And it's so like celebratory that there's, this is like a, it's like a ritual. They're dancing to their joy here. Uh, mm, yeah, it's beautiful here. And this is your person's card for the extended crossing. Your person is the farther gate, bold step forward. So this person is stepping into this. They are, it is a bold step for them for whatever reason, uh, because there's a cycle ending here, uh, some form of, of a cycle. And uh, yeah, the, and they have, this could be like they've been taking steps to come forward. And why it's all happening is transformation for them. Here's the death card in your concern. You're concerned with this transformation. And this is a fresh new way of living emerges we're going to end the reading you guys and the extensions are all super affordable yes they are the link is below if you guys want to book uh, a reading with me you can get a psychic or a tarot i always recommend the combo you can also get the destiny readings now those are your forecasts uh they are for yeah they are and they are so cool they so they certainly are this is what the movie stars use we're going to end this reading thank you so much you guys for joining me and please remember to like share and subscribe subscribe 
You guys probably know you have to look for me, right? Yeah, they, you know. Okay, let's, let's see what we have. Thank you so much, you guys.